Hermit Ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. Hope everybody has had a great week. It's Friday. It's been a full-on week, last week of term. Oh, well, last week of the academic year, so really, really busy. Um, and I've put off doing a walkthrough of this deck um, until I had some time really to really sit and enjoy it and have the kind of unboxing and uh well opening really rather than unboxing um walk through with you guys because this deck um was on my wish list for like the longest time oh there was a little thing there that i could have used to open it but anyway trust me um and the lovely cheryl um who you will um know because i've spoken about from the oneness emporium sent me uh, a deck which was a uh, dark side of tarot probably a week or so ago and as a surprise she popped this in the um box for me and i was really taken aback because i wasn't expecting it at all and when I sent her a message to say thank you, she said, I stalked your uh, Amazon uh, wish list. <laughs> so she'd taken a look at my Amazon wish list, saw that it was on there and popped it in. So thank you, uh, Cheryl, it's really, really kind of you. And uh, I will put a link to the uh, to the uh, shop for Oneness Emporium because they offer a fantastic service, as I've said before. A UK stockist for low scarabeo four us games four blue angel four llewellyn um <clears throat> and the great thing is buying from the oneness emporium you're not going to get knockoff decks like you can from some other unnamed big retailers online um all sent direct from the suppliers and also on the release date or before the release date you will get it which again is something that has been a pet peeve for a lot of people in the community by other shops not offering that. So um, now there is a myriad of cat decks out on the market and I've probably got 80% of them. I mean, there's the cat tarot and this is called cat tarot, but there's the cat tarot, which is came out a couple of years ago um, an RWS based kind of ta uh, cat deck. There's a uh, cat Marseille, there's the feline Marseille, there's tarot white cats, there's black cat tarot, there's a blue cat tarot, there's even a purple cat tarot. You name it, there's a cat tarot about it. So I kind of thought, well, I've got so many cat tarots now, I don't need another one. And it was when my friend Sandra from, uh, from uh, Spirit of Avalon visited, we saw... I think we're just looking in the Facebook group, the Hermit's Cave Facebook group. And because we do a different card each week, somebody had posted an image from this deck. I was like, wow, look how beautiful that, that artwork is. And then we did some research and I saw this deck and I decided not to get it there and there, not to impulse buy, but to add it to my wish list, um, which I did. And here it is. I would have got round to buying it eventually. Now, from what I understand, and there's not a lot of walkthroughs of this deck. Um, there's quite a few silent walkthroughs, but I kind of want to talk about um, the characters because from what I understand, they are taken from uh, people of from history or kind of literary uh, characters. And it's all done with this beautiful kind of uh, Victorian uh, landscape, if you like, a Victorian theme. They're wearing Victorian clothes in a lot of the cards, and it's just beautiful. Now, I know people don't always like, uh, you know, animals dressed up as humans and that whole sort of anthropomorphizing of uh, animals, but um, I quite like it. I think it's because I have a love of that sort of art, like uh, 
JJ uh, Abrahams and, and stuff like that. I, I really like it. It reminds me of my childhood, uh, children's books where animals are dressed up as in human form. But it has to be done well. Um, that's the thing for me. So we've got our little uh, Los Garabeo card that we've seen so many times. I think it's in every single Los Garabeo deck. Uh, we've got the title card, Cat Tarot, Los Garabeo. It looks like it's all one word, doesn't it? Um, the way it's done. Um, these are the backs, which has the kind of... Um, I forgot what this image is called. I want to say Charles Atlas, but it's not Charles Atlas. He's the man with the globe on his back. Uh, when I was a kid, there was a TV show called World in Action, and it had this uh, image. It will come to me, and if I remember, I'll insert it as a text field here. Um, yeah, so nice backs, of course, the it's got a cat face. It looks like this could be edged in black very easily because it's got black borders on the back and also on the fronts. Um, we'll remove the title card and then we get the multi-language little white book. Um, so, oh, not quite sure how you pronounce that name, but my name is Carolan Eshanzi. Eshanzi. I've always been very fond of heroes. I've also found in their stories um, or in their paths the deepest inspiration. I would simply wonder what would Scarlet O'Hara or Serrano de Bergerac or Peter Pan or Cleopatra do in this situation? The answers often provide ways to resolve my problems. Therefore, any favorite heroes soon become companions for me or even coaches in, the, in a way. Being also a tarot lover and collector, the desire to create a tarot deck using universal heroes slowly grew in my mind. I began working on it. Then one night as I was writing with my beloved cat, Colleen, sleeping on my knees an idea sprang suddenly why not why not converting all my heroes into cats i think there's a bit of uh, translation uh, grammatical errors here but that can be forgiven uh, that's how this deck was born all those cat heroes are here to give you any advice you need they will escort you and help you reveal the one true hero that lays inside of yourself. Okay, and it gives you uh, a little idea of uh, what each character is. So the Empress you can see here is Eliza, Eliza Cat Taylor, so Elizabeth Taylor. Um, so that will be fun to take a look at. As we go through, we can see who they all are. It's not the thickest deck, so the cardstock is okay. It's proper Los Carabeo cardstock, but you can see how beautiful these images are. They're absolutely gorgeous. I think I will edge it um, in black. All right, so shall we bring the camera down and have a good look at these images? Okay, I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. I should have done that before pressing the record button. I pressed the record button and thought, oh, actually, before I start talking, let's have a, a slurp. So Cat and the Beanstalk is the first uh, card. Now, because it's low Scarabeo, there's no uh, writing on there, which I prefer because um, what they used to do was the multiple languages, top and bottom. And I find that really distracting. I've got some beautiful decks that had multiple languages and I've either had to cut them off like Tower of the Sweet Twilight or Tower of the Magical Forest, for example, uh, because they were just, I couldn't work with them. And the ones that I haven't done that to yet, I kind of left on the shelf. Um, I do believe that quite a few of their old decks that are still in print, they are reproducing with um you know just uh symbols and numbers which makes it you know for me symbols and numbers are a universal language anyway aren't they but look at the detail in this artwork it's absolutely exquisite 
I don't mind this border. I could, I could take them off or I could just take it uh, top and sides and stand the number at the bottom. That might not be as useful when you get to, yeah, because we've got the crown and then the uh, cup suit. So yeah, it's probably, it's probably needed. But absolutely gorgeous, the level of detail that's in this uh, card. And obviously here we have Jack and the Beanstalk tail with the beanstalk reaching up into the land of the giant. And the uh, cat instead of Jack here <laughs> about to climb. And there's the... Uh, the animal in the background that he sold for the beans. So uh, we have Citizen Cat here. <laughs> Obviously, uh, Citizen Kane. So number two, our High Priestess is Angela Cat, Marquis of the Cats. I'm not quite sure who uh, that is actually, but what a beautiful High Priestess card. Look at the detail in the tile work at the bottom with the gold crescent moon. Really beautiful. Look at the sky, the colour of the clouds. Beautiful. Here we have uh, Eliza Cat Taylor. <laughs> One of the last great uh, cinema silver screen goddesses. Oh, Louis Cat the Fourteenth. I just think the artwork is really detailed, but really quite beautiful. Here we have Merlin Cat. So we have Merlin with his white beard, an older Merlin. And then here for our uh, lover's card, the lover, as it's called here, it's Don Cat. <laughs> this is really clever, actually. It would have been interesting. Um, the creator said they set out to do a tarot deck with their favourite heroes from history or literature and then had the idea to kind of incorporate that into a, you know, a cat tarot. But wouldn't it have been interesting if that hadn't have happened and we just had... Uh, a hero's tarot. There's an idea for somebody. And then our chariot is Genghis Cat. So Genghis Khan, obviously. This is gorgeous. Look at that. It's the alien. This is Sigourney. Oh, well, it's not Sigourney. It's Catelyn Ripley <laughs> instead of Captain Ripley. Uh, yeah, so Ripley played by Sigourney Weaver in the Alien films. Uh, I've never even seen this card. I didn't know this one was in here. I love the Alien films. Um, perhaps not so much the Alien versus Predator type thing, but certainly Alien 1 to 4, I think, is incredible. I wanted an Alien 5 because Alien 4, they was coming back to Earth. And of course, they've never been set on, the films have never been set on Earth. So I really wanted an Alien 5. Chance of that happening now is very slim, I guess. Um, then we have our Hermit, which is Cap, Cat, Tin, Nemo. Captain Nemo. <laughs> Here's a recognisable chap. I love this, though. Look at this for the wheel. Do you see the letters going around the wheel? Really clever. And this is Charlie Catplin. <laughs> if you couldn't have guessed anyway. And here's the character from my town, my city, which is Captain Hood. Old Robin Hood there. And 
And here for the Hanged Man, strange Hanged Man card, really. It's Serrano de Bergerkat. <laughs> I guess Hanged Man climbing up to steal a kiss. And then here we have the death card, which is Cat Dracula, instead of Count Dracula. Wow, and there, that is a gothic image, isn't it? I love the fact that his little ears are uh, coming, coming through his, his top hat. So Snow White here, Snow Cat, um, the Temperance card, but look how exquisite this, this artwork is. And just to give you an idea of what you get in the little white book, um, so it says here, uh, grace comes from balance and harmony. Let your inner light shine out of you, warming the world around. Stay calm and aligned. Just smile. One day your prince or princess will come and real life will begin. I want to start singing one day my prince will come. <laughs> the devil is Cat the Ripper. Wow, look at the little uh, mice in chains or rats, whichever they, whichever they be. I love the Big Ben in the background there. Can you see that through the gap in the buildings? Again, very Victorian, well, it would be for Cat the Ripper. So that's our devil card. And then we have our tower, which is Alice in Catland. And she's falling down the rabbit hole here, as you can see. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but I just, I just turned this over and glanced at who this is. And the star card is Bridget Barcatdo. <laughs> Bridget Barcatdo. So Bridget Bardo. <laughs> and it's uh, it's quite bizarre to to look at a cat and think, wow, what a sexy cat. <laughs> doesn't doesn't sit comfortably with me. So this is Catherine Monroe. Obvious who uh, who that is. <laughs> so Kath uh, Catherine, Marilyn Monroe is our moon card. And then the sun just says the beauty cat. Gorgeous image. And then we have the, oh, Beauty and the Beast. They come together, that's why. So the Sun and the Judgment card is Beauty and the Beast. So you see the drapes behind the, the scene slots together. That's quite clever. Um, so Beauty and the Beast. And then the last one is Leonardo Cat Vinci for our world card. Um, oh wow, the Africat. I'm going to go a bit quicker now because now we're going into our cups. So I'd imagine that these kind of have like a, a love emotion kind of theme. Um, yeah, looking at it, it says Africa live for love. The next one is you find the right partner. So, yeah, so Africa. <laughs> I love it. Look at this. We've got Laurel and Hardy here. <laughs> Laura Cat and Cat D. <laughs> and then we have the Cats Brothers. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that the cutest? This is Dorothy Cat. She's got Toto, the Ruby Slippers, the Yellow Brick Road, 
the house and the cyclone, the talking tree. I love it. The Emerald City in the background. Love, love, love. There's lots of Wizard of Oz decks now, but I've never found one that is bang on uh, just how I'd want it. But I love this image, even though Dorothy is a cat. I, uh, yeah, I love it. The Count of Catty Cristo <laughs> for our Five of Cups. And then we have Catapan, actually Peter Pan. But just look how detailed the artwork is. Isn't it gorgeous? Cat Quixote. We have Cat Arthur. I've got the sword in the stone there. Oh, so, oh, look at the rocket. So this is Catintin. Cat <laughs> Dorella. Uh, so we've got Cinderella here. And then we've got a uh, little thumb cat. Oh, that's Zorro, isn't it? Yeah, Zara Catro. We've got Catty Poppins, the London uh, town below, St. Paul's. She's riding in on a cloud. That's what the scene where the, uh, the umbrella slides through the cloud. She has to keep pulling it back up. She's just putting her powder puff on as you can see there this is such a fun deck ah Jean Catley singing in the rain I love this deck <laughs> okay so now we've got pentacles but the book is going with one so I'm just going to change that to ones because I don't want to be flicking backwards and forwards so we've got Cathina we have Elvis Prescat uh -huh. Rhett Cattler <laughs> I mean it's pretty epic this isn't it and then we've got Mickey Cat. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful card? A real, real Disney. Love the Cinderella uh, palace in the background. And the Mickey, Mickey Cat here. Look at his face. And then we have uh, Scarlet Sc Scatlet O'Hara. That's hard to say. <laughs> and then Catty Seuss. Super Cat. <laughs> Little glasses. Harry Catter. There's one for you, Harry Potter fans. Cat Mulder. Oh, wow. I want to believe. So our X-Files uh, Mulder card. Sissy Cat. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so much fun. Cat in Boots. Shut up. I didn't know this card was in here. This is epic. And he's in Wembley. Wearing his 1986. It's a kind of magic tour. Iconic yellow leather jacket. White trousers with the red stripes. I was there. It wasn't a cat, of course. But this is uh, Freddie Mercatry. <laughs> Favourite card. 
favourite card. Yay! We have Wondercat. I used to love that when I was a kid. I was obsessed with Wonder Woman. I think it was probably my first TV crush. Probably. <laughs> and then Zeus Cat. And then we have Pentacles next. So let me swap them around. So we've got Pentacles. And our first one is Pablo Picasso. <laughs> Fred Catster. Oh, we have Mozart here. A Catius Mozart. Blonde Ambition. <laughs> No idea who that could be. Ramon, if you're watching this, <laughs> what do you think to Cat Donna? <laughs> this is a hanky panky outfit from Blonde Ambition. And I saw Blonde Ambition in Wembley Stadium again, where I saw Queen. Uh, four years later, so this was 1990, I saw Blonde, Blonde Ambition. Love it. I love the, the tail. <laughs> Cat Donna. Okay, and then we... I'm not quite sure what that one is. I can't pronounce it. Phaedra Cat? One Way Love. Not quite sure what that one is. Let me know in the comments if you can uh, place it. Here we have Gulliver. So, Le Cat Gulliver. I love it. And here we have Steve McCat. Katolf <laughs> uh, <Katov> Noriev. <laughs> Oh dear. Cat off Noriev. Look at the little cats dancing in the background as well. Wow. She hair a cat. Oh wow, look at this. Walt Catsney. <laughs> I love the Mickey. A shadow being cast on the wall there. Then we have Frodo Catkins. For our Lord of the Rings friends. Catarix. Instead of Asterix. Barbara Strycat. <laughs> Oh dear, Barbara Strike Cat. It actually really looks like her, doesn't it? Okay, so now, uh, where are we? No, hold on, we've got the last one. The Wiz Cat of Oz. So this is our Wizard of Oz. We've got the, the flames here. Um, the glass window, oh, round glass window for the Emerald City within the Emerald Palace. Okay, and then we go into swords. So this is Luke Catwalker. <laughs> and then we have Ant Cat gone. The little Mer Cat, cute. Oh, wow. It's uh, Catslan from Narnia. <laughs> Beautiful. And then Don Catleon. We have Christopher Catlumbus. 
we have the Mad Catter. I love how it's done like the Johnny Depp kind of character of the Mad Hatter. Cat Smeralda. And then we have Vincent Van Cat. Bandage over his ear. <laughs> Oh dear, I love the artwork look through the window. Look how clever that is. I think we all know Cat Kong. Fay Ray there in the palm of his hand, the paw of his palm of his paw. Brilliant. And then we have Cat Mez Bond. 007. The name is Bond. Cat Bond. Her Cat Leaves. For our night. Catapatra. <laughs> that just rolled off the tongue. <gasps> Catapatra. <laughs> and we then finish with Catlock Holmes. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, I know this deck is a, is a lot of fun, but all fun aside, let me just move the camera up while I finish off. Yeah, so as I was saying, you know, it is a fun deck. Um, I got a lot of giggles from it. Um, take it as you find it, I mean, but all that aside, it is an exquisitely beautiful uh, deck. The artwork is absolutely absolutely extraordinary really detailed they really look like beautiful pieces of classic uh victorian art just stunning when it comes to uh the detailing and the colors and it's it's a bit of a hidden gem this deck because as i said i um I hadn't heard of it. I hadn't come across it until very recently. I can't even remember the year, unless it tells you in here, of its release. 2021. So it's quite new, actually. So it's only two years. October 2021. So 18 months. Um, so that's probably why. I thought it had probably been out uh, a while, but I should have known, actually, about the multiple languages. So... Not quite two years, but it's probably why there's not a lot about it online. As I said, I'm going to edge it in black because um, I think that will finish it off uh, nicely. So, um, in fact, I'll do it now. <laughs> so, now it's edged and it's this nice uh, matte black, which I think complements the backs uh really well as well as the uh the fronts as you can see that's nice taken nicely i used a sharpie a chisel tip sharpie you can see here um get a nice effect with the chisel tipped sharpies so yeah there we have it so yeah, let me know your thoughts. I know it's a little bit uh, novelty. Uh, as I said, it's fun, but it is a beautiful uh, tarot deck. It's beautifully illustrated. And I'd love to know if people have got it and how they found it for reading with in particular. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching everybody. I will be back tomorrow. I'm feeling much better after my stint in the hospital on Saturday, um, where I wasn't able to do the cup of ketchup and cards, but normal service resumes tomorrow. So hopefully see you there, 7 p.m. UK time here in the Hermit's Cave. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.